The only real reason that I'm showing you this is because the last video I did about slingshots on this one particular channel was rather popular, basically. So I'm using this as a vehicle to help to, I suppose, market the channel to a broader audience. And yes, this particular YouTube channel I'm using to chart my progress towards self-sufficiency. Okay, and also to try and ask for any extra help. And yes, there's links in the information box if you wouldn't mind possibly helping out to help me reach a final goal. Now this is... Slingshot. I've been spending a lot of my time looking at a few Slingshot YouTube channels and basically lusting after a few um, Slingshots that are out there. And I thought to myself, what's the point? You know, why should I be spending my money on a work of art when basically I just want something which just works? So this bit of wood came from a bit of bed slatting. And I just took a couple of saws, you know, uh, one type of saw, you know, a hacksaw to get the wood to more or less the right size and another... Uh, smaller hacksaw to try and give it some shape. I didn't even intend it to actually end up in this one particular shape, really. But that's the way it just ended up, basically. A bit of filing, a bit of sanding, and hey presto. Now the bands you're seeing on there are silly, okay? Let me just try and get you in close. Now you should be able to see that they look rather familiar. They are, of course, balloons. That's right, I've been practicing using modeling balloons as slingshot bands. And if you pull them to, you know, double it over like that, and you pull them to its, um, you know, massive extent, and you're using light ammo, like 6mm steel, you can actually get some pretty amazing results. Um, great speed, actually quite a bit of danger, you know, I've um, made a few holes in a few plastic things at the passage of time. Now, benefits of this one particular shape. You can... Put your fingers there, do it like that, okay? And wrap your little fingers around that part of the body of it, giving yourself more stability. So that's for heavier bands. Lighter bands, you can still do it like that. So it still works quite nicely. For upright usage, if you turn it the other way around, you get the advantage of that bit there, pushing against your hand, and it's much better for upright usage. So it depends on how you want to use it, but that shape works well for me. It's very small, will fit nicely in my pocket, and will basically do its job. So that's what I've done for myself. So it shows you how cheap this hobby can be. And it is a hobby and I'm doing it for target practice more than for anything else. Uh, at this stage, haven't yet killed any um, little creatures as of yet. But when the season comes, I'm not going to kill anything out of season. I'm not going to kill anything I shouldn't be. But I will be. I've got some good quality resistance bands coming in on via eBay. And these are a uh, cheaper cut knockdown version of TheraBand. So essentially, that's what I'm going to be um, fitting onto this. And I'll be getting myself some pouch material soon. So I, I won't be shooting with um, clown fodder. I'll be shooting with something a little more proper. And I'll be doing it. Uh, probably the side shooting style because that's that'll basically work best for for my requirements at this stage So that's what I'm doing remember if you are interested in alternative energy off-grid self-sufficiency and that kind of stuff subscribe and view this channel and I will look forward to getting you some more videos done soon. Remember, in about, um, I would say, two to four months' time, you're going to see this channel being revolutionized. And I will be demonstrating very real off-grid living uh, for, you know, for, for good, proper time. Okay? So, keep posted, rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, share. And I will definitely look forward to getting you some more videos done pretty soon. I know. Doesn't this thing look so damned ugly you know i mean it's very roughly hewn it's um, I, i'm not a woodworker you know i'm not, not a craftsman but i don't care to be either i don't need to be so what i have is something functional practical it does its job and you can make one too dead easy and dead cheap materials wood string balloons leather you know cheap